Hey YouTube, Oracle DBA girl here. Uh, first off, I apologize. It's been a minute since I've been on my channel. Uh, the good news is I do have a new job, and I it was a promotion. Um, also, I'm studying for my OCP, and in studying for my OCP, um, I was trying to install ASM, Automatic Storage Management, and going through the books and everything. They gave you the instructions on how to do it. Only thing is, they left out a major component, the 11G grid infrastructure. And I looked in like three books and I didn't see it. So I was like, yeah, I know this going on my YouTube channel because it's vital information um, that I didn't know. And I was learning on my own. So uh, I just wanted to put the video out there. Uh, all I have here on this slide, I'm going to go through this sort of fast because... Well, this is OCP, so it's a little faster than what I'm used to, you guys, what I'm used to doing on my channel. But basically, I have a new install of VirtualBox. I have a new install of Oracle Linux 6.5. In my troubleshooting, I can tell you that um, it doesn't work on an older version like Linux 5. And I was using 11.202. It didn't work. So I would suggest updating to the latest and greatest. Um... I would have known that also if I would have read the documentation. So again, you guys, that's why it's important to read documentation instead of just jumping right into it like I did. Also, uh, right now there's no database because, well, automatic storage management, if you know what it is, basically it's Oracle way of managing the file system. Oracle is going to manage the file system inside automatic storage management. That's basically what ASM is. Basically, uh, I've done all the YUM updates, so we're going to go from there, and I've added the groups. I'm going to show you all the groups that you need. Other than that, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, okay, uh, I got a cheat sheet here. So for the cheat sheet, the first thing I have is make, make, grid directory, make a grid directory and unzip the files. I've already done that. So, you guys, this is where you want to store it at most of the time. It's going to be, you know, in your Oracle base slash whatever. So, that's what I did. I did slash grid. Okay, add additional disks on AS for, a, for ASM um, disk. We'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, you want to make sure your VM, your virtual box is shut down. And we'll go to storage. Okay, I add a SCSI controller. You just, if you want to add a SCSI controller, you click here, add SCSI controller. So, hit this, create new disk. Come here, additional hard drives, disk zero. So, we're creating three new disks, and I'm going to make them. 25 gigs. Okay, I had a uh, this zero in a previous video, so that's no problem. I'll start with this four. So hit create. When I was doing this before, I used this zero. So um, I'm gonna bring this down. Um, Mac for some reason it does that. Have no clue what it is, but going right ahead. Got to name this right. Twenty-five, and that's this zero there too. I see that. Okay, disk five, and hit create. So then we want to do it one more time. And this is going to be this six. All right. So now we're safe. And what I like to do is I like to come to each disk and click on solid state drive, solid state drive, solid state drive. Hit OK. 
and these are going to disappear once they disappear go ahead and start it up I'm going to pause this while the video is starting okay you guys it's back up so I'm going to go ahead and just start from here we just did that so the first thing we're going to do is uh, create the partitions I'm not a sysadmin so I couldn't tell you what I'll if this do but uh, we're going to go ahead and check out what's here right now so copying and pasting that cat command uh, basically I'm gonna point out our disk these are our disk right here we have this B we have this C and we have this D as you can see they're all the same size so these are the three that we're gonna use and basically to uh, partition it you just do this F disk D E V S D let's do B so when we do that it's gonna do command and for help I just wrote down the letters that you're supposed to type the first letter is N the second one is P for primary partition again I am not a sysadmin so I can't tell you what this means particularly I'm just going through it so then one enter enter W so that's the first one so I'm gonna pull that command back up and then I'm going to change this to C. Do the same thing. N, P, 1, enter, enter, W, or W. So do it again for D. N, P, 1, enter, enter, W. Okay. So if we go back to the cat command, as you all can see, here's B, it has a 1, so it's partition. Here's C, it has a 1, so it's partition. Here's D, it has a 1, so it's partition. So, okay, now that we have that out the way, next we're going to install Oracle ASM support. Um, RPMs, we're not doing the RPMs, but we're going to do YUM install. Uh, if you did the previous YUM update and the pre-package, the Oracle pre-package, this one will probably already be installed, but I uninstalled mine. Well, actually, it still is installed. I, I could have sworn I uninstalled it, though, so we'll go ahead and go to the second one. Okay, so the second one was not installed. So hit yes. It's installing that, and for the third one, I'm gonna copy and paste. Uh, there we go. Um, and that's this. Um, this has something to do with the kernels, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what. Just know that you need it, so I'll hit enter, and then yes. So that's done. Now that that is done, we should be able to configure um, Oracle ASM. So they have the command there, and the command is going to be Oracle ASM configure minus I. Okay, um, again, this is another thing that I just wrote down exactly what you're supposed to. For the first one, it's going to be Oracle. For the second one, um, I set my group to be O install, uh, but it's for that one, it would be whatever you set uh, the owner for the grid infrastructure to be, and mine is O install. Okay, yes, yes. And it's done, right? Okay, so that's done. So um, this says create ASM disk to be used in grid installation in ASM disk group. Okay, and you see the command is Oracle ASM INIT. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so now we're going to list the disk to make sure that they're there. Wait, we didn't create it. I'm sorry. I need to separate this. 
we already checked the partitions earlier so what we're gonna do here is Oracle ASM create disk disk zero for dev sdb one okay so that's done oracle asm create disk disk one dev sdc one Okay, the last one, Oracle ASM, create disk, disk 2 for dev sdd1. Okay, so that's done. So now we can do Oracle ASM list disk. And as you can see, those are the three this that we're going to use for the installation okay and I believe that's it well we can also make sure that they're in this directory because that's the direct directory we're going to use for the install as you can see they're there so what we can do now um, okay we're going to run the installer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I may want to log out, do SSH minus X. Um, you want to use XMe for this uh, so that you can bring up the installer. You all should know how to bring up the installer. Google at 9216.8.0. Okay. All right. So, CD two. Um, go to your home directory wherever you install uh, your files at. Okay. And then here we're just gonna run install. Should be there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's gonna be where your software is located. So here we're going to run the installer. Skip software updates. Told you we're going to sort of go through this a little fast. We're doing a standalone server. And here is where you want to change directory path. What you want to do is you want to do dev oracle asm disk. Hmm, didn't come up. That's weird. One second, let's see. Dev. Okay, I left out the E here. Oracle asm disk. Okay, there are all three disks. So I'm going to check, hit next. I'm using the same password on each account. Next. Okay, and as you all can see, I have AMS DBA, AMS Opera, and OIN install. Also, there's another group that you will need. It's going to be ASM Admin if you do not have it. ASM DBA, ASM Opera, O install and ASM ADMIN. All right, so I'm gonna change this information. Uh, it's gonna be home, my test app, Oracle, slash grid. This is gonna be home, my test app Oracle and that can stay the same so now it's doing the prereqs should go through fast alright and I'm gonna hit install 
Okay, now this is going to take a while. So I'm going to hit pause um, while this run. Um, but when the root script comes up, I'm going to bring it back up to let you all see it, okay? Okay, I'm back at the screen. You see it's telling me to run the um, root scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and get those ran. Um, CD home, my test app, Oracle, and I believe it's in the oil inventory. Uh, I believe it's there. Okay, my test app or inventory. Okay, gotta be root. Sorry, you guys. This nine hours of work is sort of went down on me a little bit. So I definitely apologize. Okay, here we go. Alright, that one's done. So now we gotta go back to uh, my test app. And I believe it's in a grid, yeah. Oracle grid. Okay, so here we just run a root command. Hit enter here, and um, you have to wait till this go through. Uh, if you are not up to date on your software, this is where you're gonna get the failures. You kept failing here, and I, it took me forever to figure out why. I think it took me almost a week to figure it out, but I gained a lot of knowledge troubleshooting it. So, um, as you all can see, it says successfully configure Oracle Grid infrastructure. Or standby server. So I hit OK here because this is done. And let this run. This is going to be a few seconds. Doesn't take too long, but it is long enough. I can't say that. It's updated in inventory. Um, while this is running, I'll just let you all know, I'm going to do an ASM video uh, within the next few days. Tomorrow is July 4th, so I'm not doing much tomorrow, but Saturday, Sunday, um, I'm going to go ahead and do an ASM video. As I go through studying for OCP, I'll put these videos up. So, if you all have any questions or any comments... Uh, let me know. I don't mind giving any advice. I also can say that uh, I've had some people press me for a Facebook page. If that's something that you all want to see, let me know. I'll do that. And I will do my best to keep the videos coming. Let me know if there's something that you want to see that I have not done. Again, I do have to uh, stress to you all. I am an applications DBA, and I'm only doing my OCP so that I can get an, uh, an application certification. Um, so I can tell you after the OCP, this channel will become highly, you know, I'm going to use it for uh, application DBAs. But as you all can see, the installation of Oracle Grid Infrastructure for a standalone server was successful. So this is basically my, this is basically it on this video, you guys. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that other good stuff. God bless. Happy studying, you guys.